Okay, welcome back everybody. In this tutorial, we are going to look at how many times we have missed our target. We're going to count how many times. So let's look what we've got at the moment. We're counting at the moment how many times we've hit. So if you remember, we created a variable called hits. And every time our center of our site hit our balloon, it increased or incremented hits by one. Let's see that working. So I'm getting a hit every time I hit the balloon, but when I miss, nothing happens. So I'm just getting my hits. Okay, so let's just stop that. Now, so what we're going to do now, we're going to create a new variable. And we're going to do that in target. So what I thought we'll do, we'll create a variable that increments each time we press the fire button. Okay, so let's have a go at that. So when we press the space bar, so under events, when I click on spacebar, I want a variable to increase that tells me how many shots I've had. So I'm going to go to variables and create my new variable. So I'm going to make my variable and I'm going to call it shots. Okay, and then I'm going to use that underneath my spacebar. And I'm going to make sure I've got it set to shots. So that simply will increase this number. I'm going to put it in my grass down here by one each time, but I wanted to start at zero at the beginning. So I make sure at the start of my game, when I receive the start game, remember I got the broadcast and my game starts, I want my shots to set to zero. So make sure you've chosen shots as the variable and you've used set shots to and set it to zero. So let's try that. When I press the green flag, I start. Now my shots are going up and my hits are only going up when I hit the blue, but also my shots are going up too when I hit the blue. Okay, so now I can work out how many times I've missed by minusing hits from shots. Okay, so I want a new variable and I'm going to call it missed. So I click on variable again, make a variable, I'm going to call it missed and click on OK and there's my missed variable. So as we go along we'll be able to minus hits from shots and find out how many we've missed. So I want that to be calculating from the very beginning. I want it to be forever checking how many times I've missed. So we'll need it to begin from the beginning. So I go to my events and I'm going to use when I receive start game just like I did here. We need to be making sure it's checking every time we shoot how many times we've missed. So I'm going to use the forever loop. There's my forever loop. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to minus hits from shots. Okay, so I'm going to go to my operators and I'm going to drag the minus operator and then I'm going to use my variables because remember the variables contain the values of shots and the values of hits. So I go to variable and I'm going to shots and put that in the first one and hits. So minusing shots from hits. Now if shots minus hits equals one, that will mean I've missed once. Okay, so I'm going to check if it equals to one. So I need an operator again and the equals operator and I'm going to put that in the first space and I'm going to change the value to 1. So this is what this is doing is saying shots minus hits equals 1 then we need to set missed to 1. So let's go to an event so we're checking if. So go to my control if. So there you go. So that goes inside my forever loop. So it's forever checking if shots minus hits equals 1. If it does we want to change missed to one. So I go to variables and find the set variable, not the change, we want the set variable. So I'm going to change missed and change it to one. Okay, and now to check if we've missed twice, we're going to check if shots minus hits equals, what do you think? Two. If you said two, you're right. So I can actually duplicate that. First if statement. Duplicate. Just put that there. 
So we're checking if shot minus hit equals 2. And then if it does, I need to set my miss to 2. And that goes inside my if statement. And then you can do as many as you want. I'm going to go to measure if I've missed three times. So I'm going to right click and duplicate my last if statement. So this time I'm checking if shot minus hit equals three. And if it does equal three, so I'll have missed three times, I need to set my miss to three. And I'm going to put that inside my forever loop. Make sure the if statements are on top of each other. So when I start the game, let's go over this code again. When I start the game, it's going to forever check if my shots minus hits equals one. If it does, it sets miss to one. If shots minus hits equals two, it sets miss to two. If shots minus hits equals three, it sets miss to three. And this little one code here sets my shots to what? zero, sorry. And when I press my space key, my shots are changed by one each time. Let's test that, see if it worked. Start my game. So I hit, my shots went up, my hits went up, but my misses stay the same. I missed, my shots go up, my hits stay the same, my misses go up. Let's miss again. There you go, my shots have gone up. So you can see that now, shots three minus hits equals two. And then one more, and there you go, shots minus hits equals miss three. And that's how you work out how many times you have missed. Okay, now there's one last thing we need to do. So when we obviously finish the game, we need to reset our missed to zero, okay? So just remember that we need to, just like we did here when we set shots to zero, we need to make sure we set missed to zero. So I need to put that when my game starts. So at the next time, everything starts on zero again. Okay, I'll leave that code in front of you here so you can understand it and then try it out for yourself. Okay guys, I will see you in the next tutorial.